In today's video, you're going to learn the habits that are potentially contributing to just kind of age-related muscle and joint pain and stiffness. If you're new to this channel, I'm Tara. I'm a neurologic physical therapist with over 20 years of working with people with mobility issues due to a variety of reasons. Some of those are neurologic. Some of those aren't neurologic related, but are just part of the aging process. And my goal is to help you build a toolbox to prevent as much of these non-neurologic related mobility issues so that you can live an overall more mobile, pain-free life as you get into those later years. And all that said, today we're going to talk about bad habits that we kind of all do that potentially are contributing to joint and muscle pain and stiffness. And the first one is sitting for more than 20 minutes. Whether you're over 65 or you're 40, you want to start getting in the habit of moving every 20 minutes. Activity trackers are extremely popular now where you can get notifications to get up and move. So that's number one. Sitting more than 20 minutes absolutely does lead to joint pain and stiffness. The second one is not drinking enough water. Very, very common in the elderly. The main reason is, is either they're incontinent or they have urinary urgency and they don't want to embarrass themselves, so they just tend to drink less water. Some people, even in their 40s, don't want to have to get up in the middle of the night, so they tend to drink less water throughout the day. Rule of thumb for that is just stop drinking water three hours before you go to bed, but try and drink plenty of water up until that point. So dehydration absolutely decreases fluids in all of our joints, which will lead to joint and muscle pain and stiffness. The other one is not stretching. So especially for those of you that are retired uh, or you have people helping you with like cleaning your house, you forget that maybe when you were younger, you just naturally got on the floor. Maybe you were going to the gym and you just had a stretching routine as part of your daily routine. For a variety of reasons, we just don't stretch our joints enough. Maybe we're not getting on the floor as much. Maybe we're not getting in and out of a car. All of those things were opportunities where you were getting a little bit of like stretching in your muscles. So you really do need to be intentional about incorporating a good stretching routine. I recently made a video on stretches that I think everyone over the age of 65 should do every day. I will link that video in the description below. But just know that once you retire, you don't realize it, but there's a slow creep uh, towards immobility if you're not intentional about it. And stretching would be one of those things as if we don't stretch and that joint pain and stiffness starts to set in, we subconsciously just move less or avoid things. We call those like pain avoidant behaviors. We all do it. Humans do not like pain and we will automatically change our behaviors if we know something is painful. So then we start to move less, moving less, starts to develop into some mobility issues, decreases our social life, uh, decreases our world in general, which affects our mood and our mental well-being, which just feeds into that loop, also impacting our physical well-being. So daily stretching, link for a stretching program is in the description below. And then the last one I would say is just moving in general. You have to be aware that if you used to go to work every day and now you're retired and you don't have a lot of like move mobility type of hobbies, i.e. like maybe golf, uh, maybe you're more into like make, doing puzzles, quilting, knitting, you are not moving as much as you used to. And that 1000% could be contributing to joint pain and stiffness. When we move our joints multiple times a day, i.e. just walking, getting up, going and checking the mail, uh, going, and getting in the car when you were still working, you did that twice a day, walking into an office, sitting down in a chair, getting back up from a chair, all those things, you're kind of lubricating your joints, okay? So when you you retire, especially if you don't have any hobbies where that involve a lot of movement, you have to incorporate moving same with the sitting rule. My suggestion is 
every 20 minutes you stand and do something. So if you don't use an activity tracker, activity trackers, wrist activity trackers are best because they will alert you when you sit too long. Just set a timer on your phone and just have it go off every 20 minutes. Every 20 minutes, get up, march in place. If you like to watch game shows or TV, just you don't have to go anywhere. Just do either five sit to stands from your chair if you are a TV watcher, this is a non-negotiable for a lot of the patients that I'm working with that have started to have a mobility issue and they're trying to get back to expanding their world, moving more, fewer physical limitations, is if they are a TV watcher, every commercial, it's a non-negotiable. You have to stand up every commercial and stay standing. Eventually, you can work up to this, but in stay standing the entire commercial break before you sit down. Those of you that still watch traditional TV. If you don't watch traditional TV and you're watching things on Netflix or anything like that, you definitely have to set a timer. Turn the show off if you need to. Uh, every 20 minutes, get up, march in place, walk up and down a hallway in your house, maybe have a list of activities that you do every day. And every 20 minutes, you do one of those activities. Like one, you check the mail. Another time you empty the dishwasher. Another time you change the laundry from the washer to the dryer. Have a list of activities and every 20 minutes, do one of those activities on the list every single day. Listen, aging does not have to be a bad experience. We can make choices that will make aging a fun, vibrant, experience where we're not in the hospital, we don't have mobility limitations, and that we're able to have a high quality of life because we can do all the things that we want to do without a whole lot of discomfort. So hopefully this motivates those of you that might think that you're losing out on life because you're aging and kind of just reinvigorate you to get back out there, start incorporating some of these tips into your daily routine, and you will definitely get more out of life. So hopefully you guys found this video helpful. If you're new to this channel and you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell so that you'll get notified every time I upload new videos. I enjoy spending time with you all today, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day.